G'day everyone. I'm really grateful for the World Wide Web and especially for the people that spend their time putting together open source and in inverted commas free stuff that um, anyone can use to publish and communicate uh, online. Um, I've decided that every day I'm going to jump on and let you one let you know well, one thing I'm really grateful for uh, that's online and that I use quite regularly. And today I want to talk about Creative Commons. Now, Creative Commons as an organisation is um, a topic for another video. It's a great way of licensing your work if you're into uh, making your products um, extremely shareable and uh, interactive and um, extremely web friendly. Um, the Creative Commons is a great place to have a look at licensing your uh, product. And on YouTube, they give you an option of selecting a Creative Commons license. But as I said, that's another topic, um, another video, another time. Um, today I wanted to show you the Creative Commons search. I use this quite regularly. Um, as you can see here, um, you can search uh, for images, uh, audio and video that you can use for commercial purposes and modify, adapt and build upon. So basically that means many of the images that you can find using this search, if you're happy to put an attribution or a credit to the original uh, work and to the original artist of the image or audio or video that you're using, you can use these images in your own projects, stick ads on them and make some money online or whatever you're doing, you know, in print, whatever. Um, there's as I said, there's options. If you just want to use the image outright, you can click off the modify, adapt, or build upon. You just want to stick up that image and give it a credit. Well, there you go. Um, you can also um, take the use for commercial purposes um, checkbox off. Um, and you can use that sort of stuff for your um, school uh, or uni projects or in um, products that you're not making any money from. So if you're uploading to YouTube and you're not sticking ads on it, well then um, you're within your right to be able to use the images that come under that search. So let's have a quick search now. I'm going to click on the use for commercial purposes because I like sticking ads on my um, videos to see if I can make any money. Not that I've made any money. I don't know if you can say that. Am I um, probably breaking terms of service there? I might have to edit that bit out. Okay, so let's search for I'm wearing a dodgy hat today because my hair's a mess. So let's write hat and let's go for Wiki Wikimedia Commons. This is my favourite place to search just because I like the website um, and it's uh, it makes um, attribution or crediting the work extremely easy. It's got all the information there where you won't find that under uh, Google search so easy. Um, and you want to you want to give attribution. That's what makes this system work. People are happy for you to use their media if you give attribution because um, what goes around comes around. Um, so here we go. We've got some hats that we can look at here. Um, let's come up a few towns. Well, here we go. Here's some interesting hats. There's a crown there. Um, so as you can see, they've got the source and the description. Um, all the information that you need to be able to credit the work appropriately. Oh, let's go. I'm just about to um, finish up uni. So let's go the graduation hat. What do they call it? A mortarboard? Um, so we can take this file here. Here's the description and the source. This file is lacking source information. Please edit the information. User Fred the Oyster. So if you credit Fred the Oyster, uh, you say, look, this image was uh, taken from Wikimedia Commons. Uh, the original author was uh, Fred the Oyster, and uh, here's the URL. Well, bingo, you can use this image, this graphic here, in uh, any of your projects. And because we clicked the uh, modify and adapt, I could stick this on someone's head. So I could stick this on uh, my head and stick it in a video and an ad on the front of it and be quite within the law. As long as I'm attributing the uh, original images uh, that I use in the production to their rightful owners. Um, so that's one of the things that I'm really grateful for uh, on the World Wide Web and the people that spend their time putting it together uh, to make it free uh, for us. Uh, so search creativecommons.org uh, and I'll see you tomorrow.